G'day and welcome to our short review and subsequent tutorial for the Notability app. This app runs on iPads and is certainly really powerful and at 99 cents ridiculously good value. You can organise your notes into categories and subjects and you can share them at the end as you wish as a PDF or as a note file as well. Um, some of the things you can expect within the app, all right, you can expect to be able to edit text. So using the uh, T button, you'll see that you can change the text as you want. You might notice on my, above my um, keyboard, I've got a few of my options that I use quite often, okay, bolding and so on. All right, handwriting and drawing, all right, this is where it starts to become really quite powerful. The button at the top, the handwriting button, if you hold it down, you've got a whole lot of options for sizes and colors and so on, all right? But what you'll find when you write, okay, writing notes, it is um, really quite seamless. So the ones I tried out, this really is the one that was most responsive and clean. The real feature though is the button at the bottom right was a little magnifying glass button, all right? And when you click that, you'll see that it draw, puts a box, and that box allows you to write really small uh, notes in as well, okay? Um, and you can resize the box, and you can move the box around wherever you want to be writing as well, so it's pretty cool. The other thing beside that, you'll notice there's a palm guard here as well, all right? When you click the palm guard, you'll see that um, it allows you to put an area where you can rest your uh, hand while you're writing as well, all right? So that's the handwriting bit. There's also, um, there's also the highlighter where you can highlight notes as you wish, all right, and the scissors, uh, the eraser, eraser um, only erases uh, handwritten notes or highlightings, and the scissors only um, highlight handwritten notes or, or um, uh, highlightings as well. Other elements you can uh, see on the page, all right, uh, you've got the little plus button in the bottom left. When you click that, some of the options there, you'll see there's photos, all right, where you can uh, pull a photo in and drop it into place wherever you want. And you can see with all of these elements that to resize them or move them, you just hold it down, you can move it as you want, okay, or resize it as you want as well, okay. The next one along is the uh, web clip. A web clip, when you hit plus and hit web clip, what it allows you to do, I'm just going to uh, add in abc.net.au, all right, um, and it takes you to the site. It just does a little snapshot of what the site was like at the time, all right, and again, like the rest of the, um, the uh, features you can add in, all right, you can resize them and move, and it just does a link through to the, to the website as well. The handwriting box, um, just draws together a whole lot of elements all together. So as I'm hitting plus here and I'm hitting handwriting, you'll see you can choose your background. I'm going to choose a small grid. All right. You can resize and move your box as you want. But the difference is that anything that you're writing in there or drawing in there is going to be um, is going to be able to be all pulled together. Um, all right. Okay, so as you move that box around now, that drawing will stay uh, will stay with it. Yeah, it's a terrible drawing, but anyway. All right, figures. Um, what a figure is, is it just uh, allows you to put drawings, shapes, and text all together into one. All right, so here if I go figure, you can see that uh, we can do, uh, all right, all sorts of things, and you can, uh, you can fill and all sorts as well, okay? Uh, and you can do text and all sorts in there as well, all right? You pull all the elements together as you want, all right? You crop it as you want at the end, and that little text box will be inserted onto your page as well, just drawing those elements together. Um, all right, so they're the extra little elements you can put on the page. You'll see there is an audio button at the top up there, all right? But what you'll find with the audio button is that when you go to save as a PDF at the end, it doesn't do it. So exporting your notes, you can export your notes to Dropbox or WebDAV if you like, which is really, really neat. Um, look, overall in summary, um, I think this does a really nice job. It's missing some features, but overall, I really like it and I think it's well worth, uh, well worth getting. It certainly makes, uh, makes a good addition to our, uh, our tools for the iPad. Enjoy.